Hello everyone, it's Chef Stas from Ask Chef channel and today we're hosting a chicken that can be a nice main course for any holiday. And I'll share all the tips of this cooking process with you. So let's start cooking! First, let's make the stuffing. Take 50 grams of finely chopped dried apricots, put in a saucepan, pour 45 ml of cognac or brandy and heat it so that the cognac is absorbed into the dried fruit. Put in a bowl and add 200 grams of minced pork, 50 grams of couscous, Finally, chop half of the onion and add to a bowl. Next, put on the board leaves of two thyme sprigs, leaves of one sage sprig and one sprig of rosemary or any of your favorite herbs, for example tarragon. Mince with a knife and add to the stuffing. If desired, remove the seeds from half of the chili. Chop and add to the mixture. Then put two good pinches of salt and black pepper into the stuffing. Stir well. To prepare aromatic butter in another bowl, we take 40 grams of butter at room temperature, a pinch of salt, ground pepper, squeeze the juice from half of a lemon, add leaves from a sprig of thyme. Chop one clove of garlic. Then add salt so that the garlic does not stick to the blade, grind it into puree. Stir well, put it aside. Now let's work on the garnish. Put onions chopped into 6 pieces, a couple of cloves of garlic and the second half of a chili in a baking tray. Cut the carrots into obliques, add to the onion. Put another sprig or a few leaves of aromatic herbs you are using. Add 300 ml of water to the vegetables. Season the garnish lightly. And you can start working on the chicken. It is better to fold chicken wings behind its back in a sunbathing position. In this way they do not burn. Using fingers, penetrate under the skin, create a cavity there you can use a handle from a spoon, the main thing is not to tear the skin. You should go under the skin on the chest, thighs and back. Then rub the chicken under the skin with aromatic butter. This will help us to keep the bird juicy and give it a great flavor. Season the chicken from all sides, do not forget about the cavity. Now fill the bird with the stuffing tight. Close the hole with crossed legs and truss them with a culinary rope. Pull them together tightly, draw both ends of the rope along the back, cross the ends of the rope on the chest and pull the wings to the body. Tie a knot. Trussing the bird is important to cook more evenly and doesn't dry out in the parts that stick out. Put the chicken on the vegetables in a baking tray and cover with a sheet of foil, shiny side inward. Bake in an oven preheated to 200 degrees Celsius for 25 minutes, then reduce to 170 and cook for another hour. After that, remove the foil and cook for another 20 to 30 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius until the bird acquires a beautiful golden brown color. After that, remove the rope and check the cooking temperature in the center of the stuffing with the thermometer. The temperature of the baked chicken must be above 72 degrees Celsius. Cover the finished chicken with foil and let it rest for 15 to 20 minutes before carving. You can use vegetables from a baking tray as a side dish, put them on the plates, cut the bird in a way convenient for you. I like to serve chicken with cranberry sauce, the recipe for which you will see in another video. Plate the chicken and do not forget about the stuffing. Decorate with herbs. Bon appetit! I hope the video was useful to you, please give it a like if so and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time!